Alrighty, welcome back. So I thought this would be a good time to take a look at these um, screwdrivers we're doing in the corrosion test. And what I'm noticing is that this Philo one that I thought was forming some rust, it really hasn't changed all too much uh, since the last time we checked in on it. And I talked to a machinist at work about this, asking him what would cause the rust to form on the stainless steel like that. And he was telling me that there's a process called passivation that is done on stainless steel after it's been tooled. So what happens is when they put this on a lathe and they make this shaft, they're doing it with a tool that probably has some contaminants on it. You know, little specks of uh, old iron and steel that actually get embedded into these small spaces inside the stainless steel here. What he was saying, the process of passivation actually removes all that material. And there's several ways to do that. There's a acid passivation. There's also electro-polishing. So what I think happened is that this shaft was not passivized. And that is what's causing the appearance of rust. So the, what's actually rusting is the microscopic particles that were left in there after it was tooled. So I think it is stainless steel because if it wasn't stainless steel, this thing would look a whole of a heck lot worse uh, after this amount of time. And it really hasn't changed all too much, just kind of that same discoloration. We check in on the Vera shaft, it looks pretty much the same. It's got some spiders forming nests behind it, but not seeing any spotting or any, any kind of corrosion at all on this one. So I think that's the difference between the two. This went through some kind of passivation to remove the contaminants. And the handle looks, still looks in pretty good shape. It's just gotten dirty. But the, uh, the rubber on there is definitely starting to harden up. So if we check into the controls, I know it doesn't look like much, but I'm definitely starting to see the rust come through on this chrome now. It's like, as soon as we start getting into some freeze thaw cycles, we should start to see that some of that chip away. And even the tip here is actually starting to form some rust on it. Remember this screwdriver was never used before. And that's for the other control, the Harbor Freight one. The chrome is actually holding up pretty well. It is starting to get a little spotty up around here, but that matte chrome finish appears to be holding up better than a uh, a shiny chrome finish is. That's about it for this one. I just thought I'd give you guys a little update on the corrosion test and we'll come back in a couple of months again and see how it's doing.